I mean, they are going to have the tempo, at least, with the Visage Dragon Knight. Like, you, you do at least have the push potential coming in. Immediately, Team Spirit are back in their way out. The Maposhka has stuck around a little bit longer, just to get a proper view of what's going on. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Sableye able to secure first blood, it seems. Maposhka being targeted here by, by Sableye, but that'll be about it. It's Arteezy. Up at top lane, finding Mirror again. Has the hand up, but is very low on HP. Collapse will be able to take out the Dusa. So really not the worst trade here for, for Team Spirit. This fly is still trying for Collapse. Does actually land the Sticky Bomb. Collapse trying his best to juke that one out and turn back on Fly, but will end up going down. Just didn't see the, the real opening as top lane. Arteezy, he has been left alone. Maposhka's rotated. Arteezy is down. Yeah, Charge does connect onto the Dragon Knight. Arbet, of course, going to be more than tanky enough to get through this. This is Maposhka, now the one in danger, but a nice Sonic wave from Lyle stopping the blast off follow-up. Maposhka is still trying to juke through the tree line. Actually makes it out. Instead, they will focus on Lyle, but Lyle will jump back in onto crit. Lee's finding himself a lion. The mid lane, Arbet going to be the target. Mirror will get the lift up. Arbet cops the roar. Charge in as well, and there's just no protecting him. They might try to punish Shopify, but there's three heroes in the mid, and I, I don't think they have enough to really turn this this fight back around. The Spirit now, with the Siege Creep up, they're going to start pushing in through the mid wave. Plenty of units here from Collapse to abuse. This T1 mid tower with... The T1's just gone. There's no protecting it. And now the Nether Strike. Maposhka landing onto the Visage with the charge to boot. It's too much for, for Sableye to deal with. Fly. Being chased down by Maposhka. Charge is gonna land. Get the strike out from onto Fly, and he's got no chance of escaping. Meanwhile, top lane, Arteezy. <laughs> Yatoro and Collapse end up taking down the Dusa. Arteezy going down a third time this game. And it seems like he, they're onto the tier 2 top tower now. As bottom lane, a jump is there. They've at least found Lal, and they should have the Quap. So not the worst trade in the world for Shopify Rebellion. But Poshka forgot to press the S button, I think. Does not cancel the charge out, and he's giving another kill away. Got that instant initiation now with the Dragon Knight. It is on the Courier, that is. And they'll start with the mid-tier 1 tower. Dragon Form will get that done. Team Spirit, they do glyph and they actually rotate a couple heroes around. So it looks like they are going to slow this down just a little bit. But the jump is there onto Lal. Earth Spike to follow. He's in big trouble. The Quap is barely going to go down. Almost making it out. They're not quite. I mean, there was no defense. They know so. Oh, Abed. He blinked into the right time, but he does not pick up the Aegis. Yatoro has got it. They might catch Collapse for their trouble. And it seems like Collapse is set to fall, but he might roar before he does go down. In fact, roar was already committed. Never mind. Instead, they'll move in for the fight. Crit is down. On to Sableye. They go a big Sonic Wave. Arbet getting caught by that to boot. Arbet still trying to fight. Is eventually going to fall. As it's three down for Shopify. Make it a fourth. Fly is gone. Arteezy, the only one left, trying to Giga Chat it up against four heroes. But it is not enough damage for Arteezy. A full team wipe. Sure, you're building up a Scardi on Arteezy, but... I, I question how much it's going to matter in a game like this, as the charge is out immediately. They want the Dusa. Sableye is around to help out. Arteezy's already lost half his HP, but he's going to go for the Stone Gaze, trying to catch your Toro. Will not be able to petrify him up yet. The Blast Off is out, but he got the Strength Morph in time. Still the Perma Stun's incoming. They'll get the Aegis down. That is one life, but they've committed everything for this. So Collapse is going to jump in. Arteezy's been caught already. The Medusa is completely out of mana, just trying to walk out of this. But the lift from Mirror, going to lock him down. Down towards the south, Lyle may get caught in the Quap. Hex is instantaneous from Crit. They've locked him down long enough, I think, here to take him out, and they have. Nice pick off for Shopify Rebellion. Poshka will scout this out. Nether Strike's gonna land. Charges there. 
Locking him down as long as possible. There's your morph from your Toro now with the Ags up. So they have caught Lal again on the Queen of Pain. That's a big, big deal. Lal needs a way out. A big blast off from Crit holding him down. Lal is still alive though. He did manage to blink away. Instead, however, Yatoro now being targeted by Mamposhka with a nice charge, putting an end to it. As Yatoro, he'll turn around and fight back, doing a great job of it. He's full mana. The Sonic Wave gonna fly out, but he is gone. Mirror will finger him down. Shopify, they need to get the hell out of here. This is not the team fight. Arteezy caught Earth Spike from Crit, trying to help, but they are just getting slaughtered. The Medusa's gone. Another lost team fight for Shopify Rebellion. They try their absolute best here to fight around their minds. But Team Spirit, they will wipe them once again. Team Spirit desperate to try and find a, a straggler here. Might run into crit. They jump in. They found Arbet. That's an even better target. The mid Dragon Knight is going to get bursted down by Yatoro. Yatoro onto the mid racks now. Seems like he'll get away with this one pretty single-handedly as a crit is at least going to jump in for an Earth Spike and maybe a Hex. They just can't commit, and Arteezy's just not here. Like, he's farming right now, trying to get towards that Butterfly. Not interested in defending, because he knows he really can't at the moment. So Spirit, they'll just move in for more. They're on to Sableye now, and the Visage just gets destroyed. Very nice. Very nice. Arteezy, losing half his mana already. Charge through onto Fly. Lal will be protected. Sabrelight will be respawning. Does move back in with a buyback. Mposhka has been caught by a blast off, but is so tanky. Everyone on Spirit are just so damn tanky. Nobody is dying. Sonic Wave comes out, killing off Fly. He'll buy back immediately as Lal is still just casually jumping in. With his BKB up, there's just no fear. They'll use the stone gaze on Arteezy, but it literally petrifies nobody. Yatoro is still going. Butterfly now available on Arteezy. Charge out again from Aposhka. Cancelled by the Hex of Crypt. The Mystic Snake stunning up quite a few of them on Shopify. Lal's going to jump in for the Shadow Strikes again. Arbet's trying his best to do some form of damage. But with the Crimson Guard up, nobody's taking damage. Jump in, Lal. Oh, they're gonna find Crit. Really quick pick off here onto Crit. Buyback is available. Arteezy, though, he tried a TP. He gets caught. Half mana gone, full mana about gone. Now for Arteezy, he's getting taken out. Sonic Wave to connect. No buyback available. There goes Sableite. Fly to be chased down a boot, but they are just falling apart. Shopify Rebellion, as they call GG. No, not even a draw for them. They will lose 2-0 to Team Spirit. And props to Spirit John taking nothing away from these boys. They played fantastic here in this series. Deserving of a 2-0 victory against Shopify Rebellion. Shopify, you know, not looking the cleanest.